Welcome everyone. My name is Jenny Dwyer and it gives me great pleasure to present this literature review on mathematical graphics in young children's play. This literature review represents the beginning of my doctoral journey into young children's mathematical graphics in the early years. I've always been fascinated with young children's learning and drawing and how children access knowledge and express their ideas and possibilities within their social cultural environments. Children communicate their powerful messages through using many different childhood languages, including graphical drawings. The purpose of this presentation is to explore a small selection of the key literature around children's mathematical graphics in play. It will highlight some of the seminal works and how the findings of the research has contributed to my area of interest. And additionally, highlighting the opportunities that exist for my research. I hope by the end of the presentation that I can leave you with an indication of where my research is placed and how this literature is informing my way forward. To begin with, I'd like to acknowledge the custodians of this land. We acknowledge the Wiradjuri, Ngunnawal, Gunungara and Virupai peoples of Australia, who are the traditional owners and the custodians on, on the lands on which Charles Sturt University campuses are located, and pay respects to the elders past, present and the emerging future elders. We also acknowledge and pay respects to our Australian Indigenous colleagues and peers who are present at our early childhood conference this week and to our youngest Indigenous children. I'd also like to acknowledge my two wonderful supervisors who are guiding me on my research journey, Associate Professor Amy MacDonald and Dr Shukla Sinka. In 2019, we saw the 30th anniversary of the adoption of the Convention on the rights of the child. In 2020 has been the 30th anniversary of the ratification of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And this is with all countries except one who are a signatory to this convention. This convention continues to play a significant role in how children, young children live and learn. And for me, of particular importance for early childhood. The convention consists of 54 articles, five of which are important to this presentation. These five articles represent children's rights in Article 12, where we acknowledge that the child is capable of forming his or her view and the right to express these views freely in all matters affecting the child and to be listened to. Article 13, the right to freedom to seek receive and impart information and ideas of all kind through any media of the child's choice. Article 29, respect for the child's own cultural identity. Article 30, the right to enjoy his or her own culture and to use his or her own language or languages. 31, the right to engage in play and to participate freely in cultural life and arts. In other words, children in the early years have the right to access and gather information, the opportunities to think about and to learn through these multiple knowledges, and to have their perspectives, ideas and possibilities listened to, recognised and respected. These five rights are expressed through the 100 languages of children theory. They believe that every single child has their own unique way of getting in touch with the world. That the hundred languages are important to develop children's complex imagery and vocabularies and their symbols and concepts. That it is the child's right to use any one of these possible hundred languages to encounter the world and to express and communicate their ideas, possibilities and knowledges. That is the child's right to learn about these languages and to have available tools and access knowledge freely to think about and to represent and express their thoughts, ideas and possibilities. 
that every child has the right to have their unique ways of using language respected and that these languages are based on their subjective interpretation of the child's social and cultural experiences. And graphical language is one of these hundred languages that children can use to access knowledge, shape ideas and to express their views. Children do not differentiate differences between knowledge and language. That, is, that it's interconnected through imagery, vocabulary and symbols. That is, children learn through language. So the language of drawing and graphics and signs have been studied by um, various people. And the Reggio Emilia Children and Drawing 100 Language of Children web webinar, webinar this October um, has found that children use graphical representation in, Im in imaginary ways. And this is communicated through their graphics, expressing their ideas and their possibilities. That the creation of these symbols and graphics invented for their play ideas and projected possibility also help them to access knowledge that they use to think and to learn with and for expressing and communicating messages. When children use graphics, their message is much more powerful. And children's creation of graphics supports their expressive languages to represent and strengthen those different ideas and possibilities. De Gua and Nut Brown, 2018, found in their research of children's drawings that when children are given the opportunity to make marks on their paper, they start to make possible meanings of these marks. They stay, state that this represents very complex thinking in young children. Both Anning and Brooks believe that drawing has a community function. And if it's considered important that young children draw to learn, then it becomes a transformative process. Children can learn to draw as well as learning to read other people, other children's visual marks. There is often an unawareness of graphical representations and drawing and its uses to access knowledge, to learn and to communicate with. They also believe that the social and cultural context is very important. Another language, another important language is the language of mathematics. And in their recent article, Papadandrea and Tusuli state that mathematics includes complex symbolic systems and rules to help understand it. They also found that there is little known about the ways in which young children express mathematical learning in early childhood, reflecting their cultural understandings. MacDonald in 2018 defined mathematics as a language, a way of thinking, of seeing patterns, and finding relationships. Many researchers have found the importance of culture and in the ways that social contexts and cultural tools mediate children's mathematical play and learning. They believe that children draw on their social and cultural experiences and found that mathematics was more than just an important learning area. It represented many of the cultural heritages in everyday life. Similarly, Aubrey believed that children's mathematical language cannot be separated from the cultural situations in which it was acquired. And any mathematical play needs to be in the context of known and authentic situations. Van Oers found that for children under the age of seven, play provided the best conditions for learning mathematical concepts. And that imaginary play provides the right environment for the beginnings of children's invented notations used in play. Worthington, in her findings for her doctoral research on young children's mathematical learning, found that the cultural links between the nursery school and the home environs were significant and important for young children's conceptual <clears throat> understandings. <clears throat> Thank you.
So for signs and symbols and graphical representation, this then becomes a language for children for drawing mathematical concepts. And Worthington and Carruthers, who have done um, a lot of work in this area, they write about their studies in 2004 um, as, as part of their work with young children. And they found that many teachers do not give children any opportunities to draw their mathematical thinking on paper. They believe that it's essential for young children to have the resources and tools to create and invent and represent their mental images of mathematical concepts. This builds children's mathematical knowledge as they play and supports their understanding of more formal mathematical symbols when they start school. Carruthers and Worthington in 2009 define mathematical graphics as the visual marks or symbols children create to explore mathematical conceptual thinking and to communicate these thinking within their play. They suggest that there is a difference between children recording mathematics, that is, children drawing after the event, which is a product, as opposed to children representing their own mathematical thinking, mathematical graphics, as in a process. Van Ers, 2010, found that not only do children draw their mathematical understandings through inventing symbols in their drawings, but that these graphical representations that form the starting point of children's mathematical identities. He argues that the mean making occurring through children's initial scribbles and then become more recognizable symbols are critical in building an understanding of mathematical concepts. MacDonald in 2013 state that mathematical drawings is an important way to understand what children know and their construction of meaningful mathematical understandings. She also believed in the importance of the connection between individual knowledge and social context. Macron in 2013 argues that children's graphical representations are not just a cultural replication from their cultural heritage, but is a genuine creation of their interpretation and construction of a new culture. Worthington and Van Ers in their study in 2017 focused on children's growth of graphic symbols and their sign use within their imaginary play narratives. And they found that children as young as two are starting to develop a graphic vocabulary. Similarly, they believe as Macron that children do not replicate this but construct their own culture through the interpretation of what they've experienced and subsequently acted out in their play narratives. Worthington in 2018 believed that graphic representations are of a personal significance to a child and should be the basis of any learning in abstract thought and symbolisms, symbolism. And Worthington, Dobber and Van Ers in 2019 documented different types of signs that children made to represent their mathematical th thinking. They looked at children's abstractations as emerging cognitive development and building new thinking skills and knowledge processes. They believed that abstraction in mathematics reflected the cultural symbolic system. This provides opportunities supporting mental imagery and thinking and communication of ideas as represented in their graphic representations. So opportunities for research into children's mathematical graphics. And it is evident that there are many opportunities for further research into this area. And this, this evidence includes that the social and cultural engagement is critical to mathematical learning. These influences have not to date been fully researched and analysed using the cultural historic theory and the hundred languages of children. That further investigation into how children's mathematical play and learning in the early years is important and to research children's ideas and possibilities in mathematics. That children's invented graphical representations are important for children's 
development of abstract symbolism in learning mathematics. And this is also under research. That the importance of children learning about the hundred languages, including how to draw and learning about mathematical concepts. Only a few studies have looked at mathematical graphics in play and Worthington and Van Ers have suggested that there is need for further investigation in this field. And finally, MacDonald looked at kindergarten children in their representation of mathematical knowledge as a product to understand what children know and found and found that most children's mathematical knowledge is expressed through drawing telling strategies were much more significant than previously thought. So more research into our youngest children and their mathematical ideas and possibilities is important. As such, my doctoral research study aims to research the socio-cultural influences in the ways that young children access, learn about and express mathematical knowledges through their graphical representations. This research will be underpinned by the 100 languages of children theory and the cultural historical theory. Mathematical ideas, this study will look at children's mathematical ideas and possibilities and the uses of their invented mathematical signs and symbols. This is an important first step for children in understanding abstraction and mental imagery used in mathematical codification. This research also represents the rights of the child to access multiple knowledges, including mathematics, to develop mathematical identities, to express their cultural ways of knowing and being, and to communicate their powerful messages through the use of graphics. Thank you very much.